up? We have another midweek movie review with the groom. This is the birthday edition because it is my birthday. And it was also the groom's birthday on the 11th. So we thought, what better way to celebrate than watching Happy Death Day? Or so we thought it would be a good way to celebrate. <laughs> we thought this was a good idea. Like We've actually both wanted to watch this movie for a while. And it, there's a sequel out now, so we're like, all right, we'll watch the original. We'll watch the original. We'll watch the first one, and then watch the second one. Now it's like maybe we'll watch the second one. Maybe I'll just listen to somebody drag their nails across the chalkboard. It'll be the same thing. Or maybe next birthday I'll just go back on my tried and true Happy Birthday to Me, which is one of my favorite movies. I love that movie so much. But... This movie is essentially a teeny bopper horror version of Groundhog Day featuring a college girl named Tree who gets killed by a serial killer in a baby mask several times. I still don't understand why that was the, like, is that the college mascot or something? Yeah, it's a baby. It's like, what? That's just, that Whatever. makes no sense. So, There's a lot of things about this movie that didn't make any yeah. sense. She tries different ways to catch the killer, figure out who the killer is, maybe change her life to see if that alters things a little bit. Maybe she survives. And Maybe she's just a better person. This yeah, one happened to she's her. She's kind of a shitty person, which she admits, which is great. But that's like the gist of the movie. She's got some issues with her father. She and her mother shared a birthday. Her mother's no longer with us. I blacked out on those details because I have a short attention span and the movie but, started kind of slow actually. yeah it was a little slow and then it just kind of felt like it went on forever but yeah 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 this movie was just i mean what's groundhog day without bill murray and a groundhog <laughs> and a guess and a stupid groundhog um so yeah this is just this was a movie uh, I thought I thought this was going to be so much better than it was. I had no expectations, so yeah. things were a little easier for me. All right, well let's let's say something nice about the movie. What what is one thing you liked about the movie? I liked that Tree's character was really sarcastic and funny, and that she wasn't the typical run down the hallway flailing her arms and screaming girl. She did try to fight back. She was, you know, pretty smart with trying to logically figure out who the killer was which was great and she used stuff she she learned in previous loops mm -hmm. to her advantage which was really smart she was actually a decent final girl yeah she was all right um what did i like about this what did you like the comedy was good mm -hmm. the comedy was good like you said the sarcasm of the main character we still don't know why she's named tree because her oh. name's Teresa. i paid attention for that part all right i didn't i was you know in and out of this movie i just oh yeah i'd like the comic relief i thought the comic relief was solid i love how they mentioned ground groundhog day in the in the movie and it's you know that was probably about it that's probably the only thing i really liked about this movie you know the character she was likable she was somebody you didn't like at first but liked by the end of the movie i tolerated her yeah um so now let's go into the mountain of dislikes there's Go. no gore. There's no 50 Cent song at all. Trailer which was, was in a the lie. trailer. Trailer was a lie. Made me sad. Fraudulent. Wanted to hear that song. Maybe they lost the rights to the song between the trailer and the and the actual production of it. 50 Cent watched it and he was like, no. Nah. I'm out. Cause, no thank you. Because when they played the song, it sounded a little weird. Like it wasn't a like it wasn't naturally there. Like they cut it in the end. I don't know. Um, no gore. They, they cut before the money shot. I wanted to see blood and guts and it could have been really cool and it wasn't. Oh, you saw little splashes. Yeah. Of like splashes so or dumb. like her uh. falling and then she's falling into bed and it's like, I want to see you explode in real life. Not in real life. I want to see it in the movie. That's <laughs> terrible. You're I'm very tired. A bad person. I had a lot of sugar before and now I'm on the down slope and things just aren't great. <laughs> I'm really tired. I'm powering down. Windows shutting down sound. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yeah. So, I mean, there was a lot of things that were lackluster for me. However, I do understand that that's not the type of movie this was going to be. It wasn't going to be 
very, very gory because it's geared towards what I assume are like older teenagers, you know. Or people who don't like good horror movies. I didn't say that. I did. I'm so mad about this movie. I loved this concept, okay? I really thought this movie was going to be good. And the reason why I did is because Supernatural did such a great job with this concept in their show where Dean kept dying over and over again and each death was different and it was different ways and there was, you know, hey, does your burger taste funny? And then the song starts again. <laughs> you know, the piano fell on him. Like, this was like, they literally, like, one method of killing her, they used it like nine, like nine times out of the 16 or 17 that she died. And I was like, be inventive. You know, and then the last one was super obvious, and the killer was super obvious. We picked the killer in, like, ten minutes and into the movie, not even. But it was like, if you're going to make it this obvious, at least do something to entertain us. Gory kills, or very good kills, or inventive ones, or different ones, or something. Another dislike. It was extremely formulaic for my taste. I just, you, you know what's going to happen, and that's a little dissatisfying while you're watching it, because you want, you know, things to pump your adrenaline and to get, you know, jazzed up about, and it's just not, not this movie for us, which is fine. Bum, bum, ba, da, that's fine. Bah. Give me some type of Rue Goldberg kind of death in this you know something inventive something super crazy so i know this is our second take and i almost said bill goldberg in the first one i want some mousetrap kind of shit yes Make it i want happen. her to go i want her to hit a tripwire and be like what does this mean and then like an axe comes she's like oh i barely missed that then the axe cuts something else like the crazy shit happens and she dies the ball from indiana jones comes out of <laughs> bum, nowhere bum, bum. that would be great um not gonna happen yeah so i just it was so disappointed in this movie. I really, I was the a real big driving force behind this, behind this movie and the sequel when it came out. I'm like, oh, it's such so, it was such a cool concept. I want to watch that. And now I'm just like, once again, I'm wrong. I'm wrong a lot about okay. movies. You should be used to this by now. I am. Um. So final ratings. Go. Two point five. Nope. Two out of five. 2.5 had 50 Cent song been in the movie. So you took out... Point. I took out half a point for 50 Cent because <laughs> I really wanted to hear that song. So you took out, like, <laughs> if they were dollars, you would have taken out 50 I took cent. out the 50 Cent because you took out the 50 Cent. I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so probably for the first time in Ray Animated Review's history, I am actually going to give a lower review than her because... You had I am expectations. so pissed. I give this a 1.5. And it's solely because of the comedy. Literally, the comedy is the only thing that saved this from being a 1 or a 0. Is I had very high expectations for this movie. And much like you, I'm mad that the 50 Cent song wasn't in there. I'm mad that there wasn't better kills. I'm just mad that this wasn't done better. Because we've seen in other movies and TV shows this this can be done better. And this was such a huge, promoted, highly touted movie when it first came out. And it's like, oh, look at this. And, like, and everybody's like, oh, that's such a cool concept. And everybody who's seen more than five horror movies is like, yeah, it's been done like a million times. But I really hope that it was going to be something. I know it's not a new idea, but I really hoped it was just going to be done good. <sighs> and we're probably going to watch the sequel. And I'm going to be back here in this goddamn red chair being mad again and I know I'm going to be and I'm mad at myself because I'm going to be mad again about this because the sequel's probably going to be worse <sighs> you should have just watched Happy Birthday to me well we've learned next year we should probably do this like at the exact middle point between our birthdays we could I don't know so, or we'll just do it on the Wednesday between our birthdays I found this streaming on Amazon Prime, I rented it. I'm you so paid glad I four dollars for this. Yeah. Can you, so if you, you try to rent it, it at a red box, they lie to you and it's just the sequel in there and then you wasted your trip over there. That's fine. You it's walked fine. half a block after eating your soft serve yeah. ice cream, which was amazing, Took by the time. way. 
Um, oh, so good. That lemon juice so cake was so good. if you want to watch this, I'm sure it's available on other streaming platforms as well as physical copies somewhere in the world. Maybe you can find a red box that has it. Actually, the sequel's in the red box. Yeah. That's, that's probably what I why. Just said. No, I'm saying the sequel's in the red box. I don't think this would be in the red box, too. Well, it lied to me. Knows. So, <laughs> have you seen this movie? What are your thoughts on Groundhog's Day? When's your birthday? Did you eat a whole bunch of vegan ice cream and now you feel like your body's shutting down? Because that's how I feel. Uh, leave a comment down below with your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'd love to have you. Uh, like the video if you did like the video. Or you could like the video because it's my birthday. And <laughs> <laughs> hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews. Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. And we have a our reviews solo and with the groom podcast form on iTunes. Thanks to the Farsighted Network. Please don't forget to check out all of their creators. You can find me on Twitter at Repeat Groom Ray. You can also find me on Twitch at Repeat Reanimator. I play stupid video games with my stupid friends. We say stupid stuff. We do stupid things. It's just stupid, but it's fun. So come follow me. Yep. <sighs> All right. It's your birthday. It's my birthday. Bye, guys.